is the story of a witch and wizard, and they made a magic potion for casting spells, and those spells will turn the city topsy-turvy, and it's up to the animals to save the world. It's a witch. Mega magic, mega magic, retro potion. 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 Look like lunch to you, Meathead. Uh-huh. Bad Meathead! You better behave yourself or I'll tell Uncle Bubonic to put you on a spinach diet. Yuck! Huh? What on earth is Bubonic doing? Cooking our lunch. He's in some kind of eat vegetables and stay healthy mode. Uh, no more barbecued ahi tuna casserole. No more deep fried salmon. No more Bubonic. <laughs> 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 hey, Meathead, I have a joke. How many carnivorous plants does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> Two. One to hold the light bulb, and one to turn the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I can't tolerate, it's a carnivorous plant with no sense of humor. Soup's on! Steam zucchini and boil cabbage casserole a la bubonic for kitty kittens. Mm. And spinach stems, no meatballs, in radish gravy for meathead. Everything fresh from my vegetable garden and cooked just the way I like it. <laughs> there you go, kitty kittens. <laughs> Dig in. Stop the whining and eat, meathead. Uh-uh! <laughs> I know you're a carnivorous plant, meathead, but I read in a dietetic magazine that we have to diversify our food. So, eat it! Oh, is... Chew, you ingrate! It's for your own good! <laughs> now, after lunch, the three of you will help me work in the garden. <laughs> 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 did you throw this wad of spinach? Yeah, it, it, me head did. No. <laughs> She does yoga and sunbathe, while I hoe in the dirt, and you look like a scarecrow. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. Very funny! Your sense of humor's right up there with Meathead's. Meathead doesn't have a sense of humor. I rest my case. Hey, hey! <gasps> Those aren't weeds, Knucklehead. Those are carrots. Bobo, why don't you put that ignorant plant in the wood chipper? It's an even bigger nuisance than that saucer-looking cat of yours. No, don't you start on Kittykins, Auntie, or I'll start on that feather brain raven of yours. <laughs> How dare you insult Jacobo? Mr. Maggot! What a pleasant surprise! The only
only thing pleasant about it, Tyrania, is that my visit will be short. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mag. Ovonic, surely you know by now that I loathe interruptions. Uh, yes, but there's a rotabag. Silence! No, 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 no. Now tell me why you so-called wizards are out stretching and gardening when you should be in the lab working on a spell. Oh, but I assure you, Mr. Maggot, we were thinking of spells. Enlighten me. I'm all ears. <clears throat> well, uh, we were just discussing a spell that would, uh, uh, you know, uh, turn the heads of every single citizen in Megalopolis into, into, uh, uh, vegetables! Vegetables and, and fruits and flowers! Uh, uh, Oh, right. Uh, imagine citizens as uh, tomato heads and uh, cabbage heads, petunia heads. Onion heads, melon heads, banana heads, rutabaga! Enough! I get the idea. So, uh, what do you think, Mr. Maggot? Considering you two peanut-brained wizards thought of it, not bad. Not good, mind you, but better than nothing. So I suggest you get to work. No! <laughs> was a little too close. Lucky I'm brilliant. Lucky I have a garden. Oh, you never would have thought of it. Quit whining and let's get down to the lab. <laughs> Don't worry, Meathead. The bad man is gone. Unfortunately, Meathead is still here. <laughs> If you, I can't concentrate on spell making with that disgusting weed making all those disgusting noises. Leave him alone, Auntie. I'm trying to get him to like vegetables and balance his diet. He's just on meat withdrawal. I have a better idea. Chop him down and use him for a Christmas tree. <laughs> 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 My new bathing suit! How dare you! <laughs> Puppy, get that weed out of my sight! Right? <laughs> no! Bad meathead! Drop the chewy! Drop the chewy! Do something! Obviously, vegetables in his diet is not a good idea. Now, you get rid of that thing right now, or... Or what? Never mind. I know exactly what to do with our leafy friend here after we cast our spell. By the power, hail and hearty of an earthquake on a roll, prove these pots be part and party of the one and only scroll. Formula of deepest night, if it's you, then show your might! Join what wants for great dishunder to the sound of blades and thunder! Great set, watch much! Now here are we send bright as an ocean! All the city inhabitants will soon have heads that look like plants! The very plants that they are near, our spell will make a source of fear! With heads like veggies, flowers, and fruits, they'll soon be shaking in their boots! Now we'll say it in reverse to make our curse a whole lot worse! Boots there in shaking be soon nail! Fruits and flowers, veggies like heads with! Near of source a make will spell our near a day that plants bury the plants like look that heads have soon will inhabited city hall. And now for a little last minute plant spell ingredient. Here, bye bye, meathead. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, meathead. Where are you? I'm right here, you old fool! <laughs> <laughs> Ty, is that you? Well, who else would it be, you nincompoop? Oh, my badness. My favorite plant has become my annoying ant. Annoying? I'll show you annoying. Hey, no! Now get me something to eat! A steak bloody rare! I'm starving! But... No buts, butthead. Go! Go! Hmm. Serves the old bag right for insulting me and for trying to cast such a nasty spell. We'd better see just how nasty this spell is, Maurizio. <laughs> What happened? Ow! Ah! <laughs> hey, Mom, are you making your famous coleslaw? Yes, I am, Kip. And I plan on making an apple pie, too, if you don't eat all the apples. <laughs> This is not good, Jacob. I can always count on your razor-sharp observations, Maurizio. Look out! <laughs> this is extremely weird. Come on, we have to find Auntie Noah. <sighs> I was so thirsty. You are, without a doubt, the most beautiful creature in all the universe! Mmm. Bobby, how's my lunch coming? Hold your horses! It's cooking! I hope that's a big bloody steak. I'm famished! Yeah, you need more vegetables, Auntie. This is tofu stew with eggplant, Brussels sprouts, squash, and cauliflower. Yuck! That's not food! I need meat! 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 No more meat! You need a balanced diet. Then maybe I ought to eat your head, you big meatball! Auntie, <laughs> 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 stop that! You've got to get your mind off meat! It's not healthy! You're right! Gotta get my mind off meat! Gotta get myself centered! Yeah, that's it. My yoga will help me through this meatless time. <sighs> the wizards have cast another spell, Auntie Noah. Oh, my. And I was just so relaxed after my daily laps. What kind of spell? That kind. <laughs> oh, dear. This is serious. But that's not all, Auntie Noah. Tyrani and Meathead fell into the Mega Magic Potion and became one. So now we have a really ugly wizard with bad taste in clothes mixed up with a meat-eating plant with a big appetite. I see. Hmm. How much time, Maurizio? Four hours and 22 minutes. Hmm. Uh, Auntie Noah, do you have a riddle for us? A riddle? 
Well, yes, yes, I do. <clears throat> you must separate the ant from the plant and turn the spell about. Make the planty laugh and smile, and you'll break this spell so vile. Hmm. For once, I actually understand the riddle. No, oh, but how will we ever get Tyrania, who's now part meathead and has no sense of humor, to laugh or smile? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It won't be easy. That much I've already figured out. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? Yes. Maybe Tyrania's ticklish. Or maybe Meathead is ticklish. Oh, we should be so lucky. <laughs> ah, I feel much more comfortable now, don't you, dear? Oh, yeah. Feel like I've come home. not telling me something I don't know, Maurizio. Now, watch my back. Jacob? We've done both feet, both armpits, both hands, both ears, and both chins. Don't remind me. Her elbows, ankles, knees, toes, which leaves her nose, which is considerable. And if the nose doesn't make her laugh? We go to plan B. We tickle her tongue. How do you tickle a tongue? How else? Well, let's make it fast. We only have a minute. <sighs> I won't. <laughs> Maurizio! You've never looked so tasty! Yes! <laughs> You're quick with that ticklish tail of yours, my friend. Look, you broke the spell. Ah, 
sweet music to my ears. Seven hours is up. The spell is permanent. Booby, make him stop! Me dead. You're yourself again. But doesn't that mean the spell? Don't stand there like an old fool, nephew. Make him stop! Meathead, stop! Mm. Bad meathead! Another spell, another failure, I see, wizards. Yes, but... Wait! You can't do this, maggot! We have rights! Yes! Rights! In my book, bumbling pumpkin heads don't have rights. <laughs> if you behave yourselves, I might remove the spell before Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's another fine mess your incredibly incompetent ideas have gotten us into. My ideas? You're the one who started all this with your stupid vegetables! What's wrong with vegetables? What isn't wrong with them? What do you say, boys? Anyone for lunch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long as there's some ahi tuna casserole. Mm -hmm.